All right, y'all. We got one off the chicken liver using Big Vic's bait netting. We're going to get this uh, fish up here, hopefully. And then I can show y'all exactly how we are uh, rigging this up. Yeah, see. There we go. Let me get close up here. Grasshoppers and stuff. Here we go. The water is really high. It's been... Yep, there you go. See? Look at that. The water is really high. We had high winds. Brought the water up on the shore. A uh, bunch of trash up there moving from that. But I barely got them. I got them in a whisker. Yeah, go ahead and get that. I, I barely got them. Go get the Western name for me. I got. I barely, like literally, I barely have them. There we go. Oh, see, see, this is the part I hate because it's on this whisker. I don't even have them, bro. I honestly don't. See? There you go. All right, there we go. Yeah, I barely, barely have them. I'm going to show you all once we get up here. See? This is exactly what we got going on here. Just caught this channel cat right here. Nice one. See, look at that. Barely had them. But it did get them in the corner of the lip. But this is what I got them on right here. Right here. Here go Big Vic's bait netting right here with some... uh chicken liver inside i'm gonna cut this off and i'm gonna uh, put another piece together and whatnot and i'll show you exactly how i rig up some uh chicken livers this is the first time i actually use a chicken second time i use a chicken liver and river and this is like the first time i use it in deep water the whole purpose is when you use it you don't want bigger pieces shallow water you want bigger pieces because a lot of Bigger channels like to eat for the bait. But when you go in deeper water, there's more dinks. In most cases, there's more, you know, piles of them. So a lot of times you get a, a whole congregation of smaller fish. So it's always best to have smaller pieces because the smaller pieces are always easier meals. So that will provoke the bigger ones to come around. Y'all stay tuned. We're going to rig up. All right, y'all. We have Big Vic's bait netting right here. As you can see, this is what I actually use right here. This is the good old stuff right here, the Big Vic's bait netting. All right, so what we want to do is we definitely want to take a knot so what we do is we don't want a bigger piece we don't want no huge piece because then it'll cause for us to have to force a bigger piece in there so we want a smaller knot so what we do is we make the knot you know once we once we make a knot which is easy to really knot, you just want to tie it up but then you kind of measure out by pulling or pulling pulling from up or pulling down to measure how big you want the piece so about right here is what i actually want I don't want no super big piece in this case. So I'm going about right here. Tighten that up. That's about how big I want it to be right there. So what I do is I cut at the bottom of the knot, which I made. You take it. You flip it upside down. Yep. That's how you do it. You flip it upside down. Inside out. All right. So you find a piece of chicken liver that you want. Best thing to do in this case is cut a little piece out. That way you're not trying to shove a big piece inside of a little piece so there you go cut it just like that perfect piece in my in my opinion right there like i said you don't want no super big piece and if you ever feel like you might need just an extra little something then you go ahead and do that you put that extra little something on there like that just like that take your hook just like this and it's raining real bad you know go a couple around a couple times this is you know you want to make sure you got it you know in there good twist it grab another loose end that way as we know for sure it's closed and won't no no uh liver come out of there then you go around again like that and there you have it you have a nice piece of uh liver ready to get thrown it's raining raining real bad what you do it's just you take a nice good cast out there. Let it drop. Once it drop. There you go. Drop it down. And voila.